All right, so over time, this thing has uh, stolen quite a few, uh, whatever these are from me, what are they called, sockets. Uh, I've lost many of them, and boy, are they metric. So thanks to Harbor Freight, definitely hooked us up. We got uh, a, a torque wrench here. We got uh, the head gasket there. We got a little of this, and we are going to be going to town. All right, folks, we're on the hard here. Uh, it's been a while, but we got a head gasket, and we're going to be pulling off these uh, bolts here. And then I'm going to lift this off, get, gain access to the head boats head bolts and go from there gotta I think remove uh, possibly this cooler here and the injector and we're gonna go from there all right wish me luck all right we got this thing off here I thought I might need uh, those socket wrenches uh, in order to open them I dropped one as soon as I put uh, cracked it open turns out these things here I didn't think I would be able to use the screwdriver thread here uh, what is it Phillips um, but I was so we got this open and now I'm going to loosen up this, uh, the rocker nut here. Uh, I'm going to check real quickly the clearance on this to just see. I want to get it back where it is. This engine, oh, it does have, it does have this. Okay, never mind. This whole thing's coming off. And I am going to check the clearance here and just try and make sure that I have that when I come back here and, and make sure we're good. All right, we're not there, but we're close. We've really, we're having a hard time separating the head. We removed everything that, that we need to to get everything out of the way here. Definitely have a good bit of uh, rust and uh, deposits up in here, which is not helping the engine cool. Um, but yeah, we just really hit this with PB blast and we're gonna let this sit overnight, come back in and try and go after this. We're, we've been trying to shock the, the head here gently with a hammer but because it's cast cast iron don't want to go too hard as it could um break the casting so i've just got to make sure i keep an eye on all my bolts here make sense of where they are as you can see we have really been going to town so not going to happen tonight but we are much closer i pulled the thermostat out for those who might be interested in seeing what a bad thermostat looks like uh it would be that so that has not been opening uh very much so that is uh, probably not been helping with my cooling problem. So we're gonna try and run it without a thermostat, see how it goes and uh, get another one and then throw that in. Uh, but we'll just see if we can get cooling water through here and see what's going on. Not even done with the beer. All right guys, well we got the head off. Here's the bottom here. Uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but it is what it is. Uh, it took some work to get uh, that, the head to come off, a lot of PB blast and elbow grease. I was just trying to clean things up before getting this thing back on. If I were to take a guess, uh, that is not probably a good sign that wear, uh, mark, or impact of the valve um, on the cylinder there. Got some good rust in here and there, but only so much we can do about that at this point. I'm gonna try and get out, you can see here, there's a lot of grit and stuff that I think got in here as we were working. So I'm gonna try and get a, a vac in here, try and vacuum it out, but that's where we are. So this is the injector on the engine. It's been soaking in gasoline for about a week and you can really see just how clogged up uh, this is. There's actually supposed to be a hole at the center there. Uh, and it's not really visible, which goes to show that this has not been helping with the operation of the engine. So I've cracked open the bottom of the injector here. That's the top part. And just going to be taking some videos here so that I remember how this goes back together. Because uh, this is just not what it's supposed to look like. And I want to see what we can uh, resurrect from this. All right, we're taking this apart now. Uh... Yeah, I don't really want to, but I'm gonna. Uh, so we'll see here. This is this is gonna be critically important that I get this right. I put this back together. There's that with that copper ring right there. We have this washer it goes in second. I know that the orientation of these springs sometimes can really matter, so that'll go in like that. Um. Okay, I did not actually see how that came out, so that's kind of important. Uh, I know there are videos of how to see this online. I think it would have probably been like that. No. 
All right, well, we're gonna give it all a little clean, put it back in. All right, so we got a lot going on here. We got a battery tender, we got some CLR and a bucket running through the engine, and we have one broken stud. So as I was putting the injector back in here, after going to town, I over torqued uh, the, the, the bolts for uh, that, that are going to these studs. I broke this other stud a little bit, basically right about here, broke everything off thereafter. I'm thinking that I might have enough thread to try and put this back in here and, and see what happens. Other than that, I do have a, so, uh, an attempt at a replacement stud that I found at a hardware store, just a long bolt. Um, but I thought I was seeing leaking going on down here. I wasn't. Um, I had sprayed brake clean up above here and it had basically settled in this area. And I, in, the, in a rush to judgment, I made a, a poor decision, uh, which has resulted in some broken stud. So we're gonna keep working on that. But I am uh, excited about this here. Again, uh, this is about a half a uh, gallon of CLR in a sump pump. This line here is running right into the block. So this comes right into here. It's cycling through in this air cavity, hopefully. Got no thermostat in there. So hopefully we are getting as much flow as possible. And then this is the exhaust out. We're bringing that back right back into the bucket. So hoping to see uh, some results here and getting rid of uh, calcium deposits, rust, etc. Uh, we're, we're coming back in an hour to that. So we're more or less looking at an hour later here. Definitely got a lot of water that's evaporated out, but I mean, you can see it is definitely, I wouldn't, I'm not sure I'd call it a, a milkshake, but it is uh, definitely uh, darker in color. So I'm hoping we're gonna have something to show for it and we're gonna rinse out the engine in a second here with fresh water, try and fire it up and see uh, if she's running a little cooler. So yeah, after that last clip there, basically I've ordered a new stud and I've ordered a, a new seal. I said uh, in a previous clip that I thought brake clean was uh, this uh, liquid that was forming around the injector. No, it was actually the injector was leaking. Uh, there's a seal that's degraded beyond um, existence. I'll insert a photo of it, um, sort of the void where the seal would sit. So I needed a new one of those. I also had a veteran guy from the yard come over take a look at the engine because I did get it running after I cleaned out the injector and redid the the the, the head. Didn't seem to be leaks uh, around the head or anything, but he um, thought that the engine was running very rough at idle. We took out the injector and just turned the engine over. He put his finger over that hole where the injector would, would typically go and in his whatever opinion, just sort of doing that, it... Um, he was able to keep his finger sort of over the hole. Now in a very high pressure diesel system, that shouldn't really be the case. Uh, I guess he was looking to have his finger be blown uh, basically off um, and that wasn't happening. So his uh, thought is that either one of the valves uh, uh, either hit, hit, the head, hit the piston, which in a previous clip you can see a pretty distinct impact mark, which would result in there not being very good um, compression in the engine. It's either that or the cylinder seals um, rings are, are have degraded. So that's also needs to be addressed now. So I need to take the head back off uh, and try and investigate further with the, um, with the um, whatever they're called, the valves. Um, and we also did another test where you basically kind of took a, a rubber mallet and hit the top of the, 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 the valves, uh, you know, where that rocker arm is. And so, one of them sounded different than the other. Um, so that was another sort of, uh, illustration to him that maybe something is not seating right in that valve area. So that's what we got next to, to work with. Um, it's just been a bit cold and uh, difficult to find inspiration to work on this, uh, stuff. So, um, we're gonna hopefully, uh, address in the next video. Cheers.